what the fuck is this now? I see the ANC has a new scheme to nationalize the pension system. According to a proposal from the idiot Minister of Social Development, all employed persons are going to be forced to contribute between 8 and 12 percent of their salary into a national social security fund run by the government. Holy shit! Well, they can just fuck right off. If that happens, employed persons wouldn't be able to save anymore in their private pensions. That's it. So the entire savings industry in this country, buggered. Buggered. Ah, what is this filth? According to the minister, Dimwit, whatever her name is, this scheme is going to mean that everyone, literally including the poor and unemployed, can be assured of a nice, big, fat, juicy monthly pension payout until they die. So basically it's a taxpayer funded social security system. Look, this thing is a total fucking non-starter. You can put this proposal up on the pedestal of failed ideas next to the fucked up idea that we should have a national health insurance scheme. This is not policy making. This is, I don't know, mental illness. There's no money for this kind of bullshit. No money. It's a pipe dream. In reality, everyone knows that our economy and our national finances are in disarray. It's a mess. Our budget deficits currently are sky high. Our debt to GDP ratio is literally exploding. It went from like 50% in 2017 to like 90% now. We're living on expensive government debt. We already have social grants, unusual in the developing world. They're about as generous as this nation can afford. We don't have a big enough taxpayer base. Even that 350 rand a month extra thing which got extended, that was funded by a very short-lived surge in commodity prices. A little tax wouldn't fall, and these assholes think that they're doing better than they really are. It's painfully obvious that the current South African state has zero capability to implement or manage anything. Zero. Nothing. God almighty, that's even worse. Let me put this out there again like in previous episodes of The Blunders. These policies are grievous attacks on individual liberty. People that worked hard and made money and saved can do so for their own retirement with their own service providers. They're entitled to save their medical aid schemes for their doctor's bills. They're entitled to send their kids to nice schools. It's their after-tax income for fuck's sakes. Jesus, do I have to explain this stuff to people even? It's pretty obvious, right? Look, the ANC is losing ground politically with each successive election this century. Their vote base is narrowing. So I suppose it's understandable they keep coming up with proposals that appeal to the social underclasses. Lemon twist. Ah! <laughs> the recent looting in KZN made us the laughing stock of the world. Images of that fat guy trying to stuff his huge flat screen TV into his Toyota Corolla went around the world. You know, Mr. Porky shoving the LG flat screen into the... Ah, it's not fitting. Ah, it's too small. I see that Jacob Zuma is now crowdfunding his legal defense because he ran out of money. Well, he can go and fuck himself. The ANC can't pay its own employees. They're also in arrears on their PAYE. They can get fucked too. <sighs> Enough already. You know, another thing that grates my gherkin is people writing open letters to Cyril. Just stop. When I read your ANC should do this now, or Cyril should do that now, I just want to be sick. Let me give you a tip. He's not listening. He doesn't give a fuck about you. His main problem is trying to keep his own rotten piece of shit political party together in one piece long enough to win the next national election. That's it. He wants that giant criminal enterprise to win again. He does not want to be the last ANC president to rule South Africa. That's what keeps him up at light. Not solving your fucking middle class problems. I'm sorry to break it to you, but you will have to solve all of your problems. Alone, by yourself. Don't get me wrong, I'm an optimist about South Africa's future, and I'm not going anywhere. As someone noted after the looting in KZN, at least we're not Turkey, where that giant cocksucker Erdogan used an insurrection as an excuse to imprison 10,000 of his political enemies. At least here, you can say what you like. Unemployment in this country just hit a new all-time high, 34.4%. There are 7.8 million jobless people out there. If you include the discouraged job seekers, 44% of the total political uh, employee labor force is sitting, doing. And you know what? That's not going to change. Not under this lot. We need more jobs, not more handouts. The champagne socialists in the ANC have nothing to offer in that respect. Just the same old business-unfriendly policies. 
Forget about all of that. Tend to your garden. Isolate the state. Strengthen the opposition. The same mojo that sent the middle classes to set up barricades in KZN must be activated now to revitalize the political opposition. And by that I do not mean the opposition to the left of the ANC. Not the EFF. No, 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 no. So I have a message for Floyd Shit for Brand Shivambu and Julius Make My Day Malema. This country needs more businesses. Less of your bullshit. More capitalism. We're just getting started. Those red beret wankers have nothing to offer. Now, I hear you. You say you don't like the current leadership of the opposition party. Shut the fuck up. I don't care. Your life's work and your life savings are at stake. Start voting your class interest. <laughs>